how has your jump from what you've normally been doing in the past to more of this animation digital realm with your work? So I got into video by surprise and I was really led out of the energy of my own paintings. And the paintings were of figures and the figures said to me that they wanted to come off the wall and into the world. And then so I had these cutouts made. I have one waiting in the wings, anxious to take center stage. So here's, whoop, can you see her? One of the cutouts. And then it's on a acrylic panel. So once I've had the cutouts made and in the world, then they wanted to be in the world and have their, uh, antics and movement in the world recorded. So that's really how it was a surprise to me, but that's how I got started. And I was taking iPhone videos of them doing various things in the world. And at one point I realized, and with the help of two Fountain Street video colleagues, Joseph Fontina and Alison Maria Rodriguez, I realized that this could be a more serious enterprise and leap for my art. And it was really compelled out of wanting to have these figures be uh, sort of enacted and captured in the world. When working with video specifically, you're, you're also thinking about this idea of a realm and encapsulating a moment and an experience. And with that, sound is usually extremely important. Can you talk a little bit about the music within the video piece? Yeah, so I, I've come to understand how critical uh, the sound is. And, and when I started out um, with the question about what, um, what to do with the sound, I uh, talked to a dear uh, friend and colleague of mine, Greta Bro. She's a musician and a, just a wise and wonderful soul. And we talked about the idea of doing a, um, you know, sort of a, an original uh, track for this that would be improvisational um, with sort of mysterious sounds um, as if the cutouts were sort of coming. Well, they are. They're sort of coming out of nowhere. And um, the more we talked, and the more I tried to explain what I imagined and envisioned, turns out that she had recorded about 10 years ago a piece called um, Floresta do Amor, so Forest of Love, which is the piece that I ended up using. So I listened to that track and oh my goodness, I just, you know, the sort of the mystery of it, kind of the natural sounds as if you're in the forest. And then there's a, there's a dramatic point in the music that's sort of a little bit of a muffled scream that matches one of the expressions of one of the figures. It was like, oh man, it was just a beautiful moment. So I just, I uh, give Greta all the thanks in the world um, for allowing me to use uh, that piece to underlie this video. You've used the the terms out of nowhere, um, and it's also kind of we're using it as a working title for this video. Um, and can you talk a little bit about what does out of nowhere mean to you and uh, the idea that this is actually part of an exhibit that you'll be presenting with another member at Fountain Street Marshall? Yeah, that's great. Thank you for that question, because the title really did come out of my collaboration with Marsha Wise who uh, we'll be showing together in March uh, 2021. And so um, sort of for her, um, the idea of out of nowhere was kind of life events coming by surprise out of nowhere. And for me, it was more like the creative spark sur by surprise uh, coming out of nowhere. And so we um, are, our interests and where our deepest sort of most heartfelt um, sort of inspirations came together with, uh, with that term uh, out of nowhere. And we've had a blast. One of the beautiful things about Fountain Street and the idea of having two artists um, partnered in a show with a, uh, a similar, you know, with one theme is really um, the benefit of the dialogue of the to two artists. Like, where does our work connect? How does it speak? How would it speak to 
uh, a viewer. And so we've really had a great time just in conversation.